Hey everybody, this is Carly with Lilith's Window Tarot. We are going to be doing our uh, Leo reading today. Um, please remember that this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everyone, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. If it does not resonate, check your other placements, check other readers. There's plenty of really great ones out there. Um, let's see what else. What else? What else? Oh, please, please give me a, uh, a like and a subscribe and um, share with your friends, your family, anybody you think would, would enjoy this or could use, a, could use some of this energy. Um, I would like to thank all of my supporters. I am now up to 1,000 subscribers. Um, and let's see how fast we can make that 2,000, okay? All right, everybody. What we're going to do today is um, the Leo reading. I have pre-shuffled everything. However, I will shuffle again on camera. We are going to pull a message, an oracle card, message from your um, animal spirit guides, okay? So we'll get that first. That's kind of an overall theme, or sometimes it's just something that the universe needs you to know, okay? It's going to resonate differently for everyone, okay? So let's go ahead. Clarity and guidance for the highest good of all my Leos, all my Leos. Clarity and guidance. Panda, create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. Okay, it's always good advice, I gotta tell you. My sacred space is this tarot card room right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm using the Mystic Mondays tarot deck. It is difficult to shuffle, so I have done a lot of pre-shuffling um, off camera, but oof, we're still gonna shuffle here, okay? So, clarity and guidance for the highest good of all of my Leos. Clarity and guidance for the highest good of all my Leos. Oy. Um, What we're going to do is we're going to, geez, guys, we're going to draw four cards. The first card will be the current energy or situation. The second card will be the challenge, blockage, or obstacle. The third card will be advice from spirit. And the fourth card will be potential outcome. Okay? And we're going to use a separate deck to clarify. These, these cards are hard to shuffle. I ain't even going to lie. All right. So, clarity and guidance for the highest good of all my Leos. What do my Leos need to know? What is going on? Clarity and guidance for all my Leos. All right. Bottom of the deck, four of cups. Okay. First card, current energy or situation. The knight of swords. That's one that tried to pop out when I was shuffling. The challenge, blockage, or obstacle is the three of wands. Aries got that too, same spot. Um, the advice from spirit is the princess of cups or the page of cups. And the potential outcome is the three of pentacles. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, bottom of the deck, four of cups for you, Leo. All right, let's get to clarifying. So, this first card, this knight of swords, um... You know, the knights are are um, always coming and going, right? They're kind of the, um, the messengers in a sense. I mean, I know that the pages are messengers too. But, knight, you know, the knight of swords are always coming and going. The knight of swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck. Air, energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So your current energy or situation could be that you are in hot pursuit of something or someone or vice versa. Someone is in hot pursuit of you. However, that is your energy or situation that you have going on in this reading, okay? Let's clarify the Knight of Swords for my Leo. Leos, why does why is the Knight of Swords here? What's going on? Clarity and guidance for the highest good of all my Leos. Why is this here, please? The page of coins. So here we have a message, okay? Um, um, sometimes um, a, a small token, an offering could be an apology, but it's coming your way quickly, okay? And it is, it is, um, it, it's a very real stable offer, okay? 
Um, and it's it seems to be coming coming quick, okay? So let's get one more card. Let's clarify the Page of Coin and the Knight of Swords. Why is this here for my Leos? For the highest good of all involved for my Leos. There it is. What is it? The Fool. Could be an offering of a new beginning. A new cycle, a leap of faith coming towards you. Maybe, you know, there's somebody coming towards you. This could very well be a surprise if it's moving quickly, but somebody coming towards you with a real offer of a new beginning, and they truly mean it. The page of coins, it's a stable offer, okay? It's something that they've thought about uh, for a long time, and now they're on that horse, and they're quick and moving, coming right towards you. Could be, um, it, you know, it could be a job offer. It could be a scholarship it could be a romantic offer take it as it resonates for you okay what we have here is the three of wands which means you've been waiting for this for a while and i think it's been a while which is why it's in the blockage um spot okay it's like you've been looking out to the horizon waiting and waiting and waiting and not seeing it coming well now it's finally coming. You may very well not even see it coming because you've been looking for so long. You know, maybe you may have given up. You may um, just think that you know. Have you maybe you've wandered off and pursued other 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 situations or people or or offers? Okay, and right now there is a trash truck right in front of my house, so it might be noisy. I apologize, and probably at any moment the dog may start barking. So we'll just we'll just get through as best we can. Okay. So clarity clarity and guidance for my Leos for the three of wands. Clarity and guidance for the highest good of all my Leos. Why is this three of wands here? Trash truck. Oi. Why is this three of wands here, guys? Temperance. Yeah. You have been, you've been waiting on this for a long time, whatever this is, um, and it's happening in divine timing. It could be something, you know, that you have just been so impatient for. Um, I'm a Leo myself. I am very impatient, but the universe is working behind the scenes to make this happen, whatever the situation is, and it's happening in divine timing. It's happening when it's supposed to, for the reasons that it's supposed to, and it is a very divinely guided situation. It belongs to you, okay? So this could be something that you have been as patiently as possible, patiently waiting on, right? As patiently as you could possibly be. So let's get one more for the Three of Wands and for the Temperance. Why is this here? Three of Wands and the Temperance, card of Sagittarius. Why is this here? The moon. All right, guys, <laughs> you don't see this coming. Um, or maybe you're afraid that it isn't going to come. You can't see it. You are unable to see what the universe is bringing in for you. Okay? So you don't expect this. You have stopped looking for it. Um, the moon is a card of Pisces um, or Cancer. Could be could be dealing with one of those signs. Don't have to be. But, guys, the moon talks about hidden things. Okay, things we cannot see. It also talks about, you know, your your intuition or your fear and your doubt. But, you know, these are both very, um, these are major arcana. There's not one single thing you can do about this. This is the energy that's coming regardless. Same with the fool. Maybe you've been um, patiently waiting on an offer from someone regarding a relationship or a, a job or whatever the situation is, right? And you're worried that it's not coming and you can't see it coming, but it's coming in divine timing and it's coming quickly, okay? And it's an, it's an offer that's very stable and is going to give you a restart, a new start, a fresh start. So we have the Princess of Cups in the advice column. So this is the Page of Cups. In this deck, it's the Princess of Cups, okay? But this is um, advice from spirit. So this could be the advice that, hey, now you know it's coming. Um, you know, accept it because it's a very good offer. Not only is it stable, it's, it's emotional. For me, this looks more like a love reading to me, but, it, you know, it could be anything. Um, and this also is telling you to... Um, tap into your emotions when you respond, okay? Don't just don't just say the very first thing that comes to your head, right? Tap into those emotions um, when you're communicating regarding this, okay? Say how you truly feel. Speak your truth. Um, 
but princess or princess of cups or page of cups is also um, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, which we have that over here also. But um, let's clarify the uh, Page of Cups or Princess of Cups, okay? Let's clarify the Princess of Cups. We have the moon here too, again, which means you may not be expecting this offer. You may not see it coming, okay? So let's clarify this card. Clarity and guidance for the highest good of all of my Leos. Clarity and guidance. The devil, okay. You may very well, um, the universe is telling you, okay, so the devil, Taurus, or it's Capricorn energy, earth energy. Um, it, it talks about um, obsession, um, addiction, um, karmic partners, right? You may very well be getting a message from a person who maybe you were were with them before and it wasn't the right time and it was not a good relationship okay or this could be a message of a lot of passion like a lot of very passionate sexual energy but let's get one more okay let's get one more i do not believe that this is toxic energy coming towards you especially with this temperance here okay so let's clarify the Page of Cups and the Devil. Why is the Devil here with this Page of Cups? Clarity and guidance for the highest good of all my Leos. The Ace of Wands. Okay. <laughs> this is a romantic reading for most of you. The Ace of Wands is very phallic, very passionate. Okay. So not only are you getting someone um, who has a lot of emotion for you, okay? They have a lot of passion for you. So this is somebody that you may have been obsessively thinking about, okay? Um, and they're, you know, the universe is telling you, and this is their advice, okay? Um, maybe not jump right into the sex. Do what feels best for you. But speak of your emotions. Speak the truth of your emotions, how you feel, Potentially how, you know, how things were in the past, okay? Just just speak your truth, kind of feel those feels, um, forgive one another, let it go, because you've got a brand new beginning coming in, okay? You, you don't see it coming, though, I'm telling you right now. However, a lot of you are still thinking about this, you know, in the, in the shower, <laughs> in bed at night. <laughs> oh, Leo, okay, three of pentacles. This can be a card of reconciliation. So um, if this applies to that for you, then that's 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 what this is. But it is someone coming together, wanting to collaborate, wanting to work together, wanting to build, wanting to build something uh, solid, stable. OK, um, it's working in real time to to come together and collaborate and build. OK, um, it, again, also, it can be a card of reconciliation. Um, the Three of Pentacles can represent you, your person, and spirit working together to, um, you know, build this relationship, bring it to the to the next level, okay? So let's clarify the Three of Pentacles for my Leos. Clarity and guidance for the highest good of all my Leos. Why is this here? The Seven of Coins. Um... Dare I say this is someone from your past who's been thinking about this for a long time. You've been thinking about it for a long time. You guys may have planted some seeds quite some time ago. I feel like this could be a long time ago, you know, um, a lot of months or even s several years, um, three or four years. But um, now it's coming to you in divine timing, okay? Her basket is empty, but it is now coming to fruition. She's can pluck those pentacles, right? And use them to replant, to build, that kind of thing. Um, the seven of coins is reevaluation, reassessment, okay? So you want to reassess that that partnership, or they do, okay? And that's your that's your outcome. They're coming to build. They've reassessed, reevaluated where they planted their seeds, where they you know, what's coming to fruition, what's not, and they're, they're choosing you. And again, this could be a job maybe that you applied for a long time ago, a, a scholarship you applied for, or a school that you applied to a long time ago. Take it as it resonates, okay? So let's get one more card for the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Coins. 
Why is this here for Leo? Clarity and guidance for the highest good of all involved. For all my Leos. Why is this here? Three of Pentacles, Seven of Coins. Page of Swords. They've been watching you. You may have been watching them. You may have been watching each other and not knowing it. However, this is another message. It's another message of truth. Page of Swords can also be the spies, right? Watching you on social media, watching you at work, um, watching, you know, <laughs> I don't, driving by your house, whatever. Okay. But um, take it as it resonates, guys. Oh, and we have the chariot on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like um, this is coming towards you. There's nothing you can do about it, right? Card of Cancer. Um, this victory is coming towards you. And again, we've got the moon. I don't think you see it coming, guys. Okay, but also this could be, especially with this Page of Swords, um, someone driving by the other one's house, driving by the other one's work, okay? Doing those little doing those little stalker things everybody does, right? We're all just a little bit crazy when we're in love, aren't we? Okay, I don't see this as negative. There may have been some obsession about this relationship, but I don't think that it's from only one person, okay? I do see a lot of sexual energy, sexual tension, if this is a relationship reading for you guys, okay? So bottom of this deck, bottom of this deck, the Four of Cups, yeah. You've really, really, really been thinking about this. Maybe it was a missed opportunity, okay? Five of Swords. There could have been um, a fight, right? A breakup. Um, this is, you know, I'm seeing this in this situation as um, potentially some mind games, some arguing, and somebody had to walk away from a relationship, a soulmate relationship, right? Four of Pentacles, but you've both been holding on to this situation and now you're ready to make it work or it could be involving work, but you're ready to do the work. You are ready to start a new cycle and here you are, right? Knight of Wands, um, passionately going towards what you want. The Two of Pentacles, someone could have been juggling, right? Who was it? Could have been that Emperor. Aries energy doesn't have to be. And, and that, that Queen of Swords brought the sword down and said, nope, I don't think so. Um, and it caused a lot of pain, but there is karmic justice. There is a new beginning. Okay. A new beginning, um, kind of like a new beginning in clarity in truth. Right. And here they come right towards you. Right. Um, because they see, they see you differently now. They see the, th they see things differently now, right. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with. And here you are. They're looking at you. They're choosing you okay all right guys i could go through the whole deck but that's what i have for you my sweet sweet leos um i am a leo also so i get it um this panda create a safe or a sacred space for yourself in your home and or your place of work um like i said mine is my my card room okay but this also is saying please take a break from from your obsession a place that you can you know, do it in a place that you can really ground and center yourself, where you can think clearly, um, where you're not just always using that that fiery energy that us Leos tend to have, right? We just kind of just, it's like our mouth is falling down the stairs sometimes. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Please give me a like and a subscribe, share with your friends, and don't forget to catch catch um, myself and my good friend Barb from Quartz Rose Tarot every Friday. We do a collaboration video where we go through all 12 signs. It's a lot of fun. Um, we are 1,500 miles apart, so we're not together, and it is amazing how much mutual energy we get in the two readings. It's, it's quite unbelievable, and I will see you next time. I am sending you all tons of love and light.